Welcome everyone to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS and today we will come with a very exciting lecture on flood stimulations in ArcGIS Pro 3.3 okay the new versions which is came okay so it is actually very useful for shallow water equations within a defined area for the interest of uh, to the model how the water can move and accumulate so I just generated this is a small versions of this okay so which is actually showing the flooded area okay due to the certain rainfalls uh, happens and due to the, after the the certain level of rainfalls in a certain level of times how the water will actually uh, stacked in that particular area so that's what we are actually going to focus on this particular um, uh, analysis okay so uh, if you see here so we can create one or more flood stimulations layers in this uh, scenes okay this is basically scenes layers okay and run this scenario which is review the visual results also so we can adjust the scenario also if you want okay such as the increasing the rainfall or if you want the blocking chains or waterway so what is the impact is actually going to see the changes over the certain area okay it's a very good uh, way of doing the study okay so what i will going to try to explain you so see here how well going to did this for the delhi area okay so this a uh, part of jamuna flood plain okay so let's see how we're going to do this task okay so very first thing is you just need to search you the locations okay uh, suppose using the locate tool i will go for the delhi okay so simply go for the delhi and you see this is the delhi and i will take some locations where there is an infrastructure and uh, the flood area is uh, means uh, the uh, stream area is very nearby okay so that is the locations we try to find so this is the locations i found uh, it is it is perfect for that analysis so let's see uh, how we'll going to uh, check on this area or we can consider this area also let's see let's see okay so uh, i will just uh, convert it uh, in the uh, 3d scene first okay so let's go and convert it in 3d scenes so here i go and uh, this is from the local scene i am creating so after converting this in a local scene so what we need to do it here is um, very important task that is we have to select a proper 3d base maps where we can see the changes okay so for that you have options here under the maps okay you can go in a base maps okay and see 3d dark base maps options also mm -hmm. here so if you want to select that then you can directly select this uh, base map stipulations and you can try to see whatever the area which is showing um, uh, a good uh, uh, amount of buildings over there okay so if you see here this is a uh, building layers which will be there so we can zoom a little bit okay and you can see once i will zoom this particular area na, so you see the buildings are actually showing okay properly so i can consider this much area uh, for the analysis so for that you just need to tilt you can do like this okay so you can i will just uh, moving out like this can you see here how this area i will just trying to concentrate for my analysis okay so i can concentrate uh, this much area for my analysis okay so now once uh, you decided <coughs> your area where you want to focus okay so see here this is a good amount of uh, buildings will be there so i want to see there is a uh, if there is a certain amount of rainfall will happen in a very uh, few hours or you know, minutes okay so here obviously it will consider as uh, hours but i will go going to stimulate in a minute so that i can show you in a very fast way but uh, the same situations is happen in kind of uh, dubai city okay you see the very short period of time so much amount of rainfall is happened so kind of analysis you can do like this okay so uh, let's see how we're going to uh, do this kind of analysis so here you have once you convert in 3d okay so you see here we have the scene options and you can go in the analysis tabs okay so if you go in analysis tab see under the stimulations you have three options default rain fun and water sources okay so as of now what the analysis i will try to do it over here now so i will go with the uh, rainfall okay so once i will click the rainfall you see 
uh, it is asking a certain uh, area which we need to uh, select means whatever the uh, my stimulated area will be for the flood okay so that's i want to select so i just want to consider this much area for this analysis okay so first how to do that so see here i can select this as a square rectangle so i can consider this much area okay so for my analysis suppose this is the area this much area i just want to see okay so my analysis so once you select this area you need to click on this create stimulation okay so now you see it will going to show you this much area and you see under the stimulations you will get see the durations okay so durations if it is showing suppose by default one hour so what i do i'm not going to get this much out because it is taking so much time to create so what i will do i will create it for five minutes okay and there is a rainfall per hour so i will consider that is a suppose rainfall is not 40 mm so it will be a huge amount of rainfall which is 200 millimeter okay so you click on enter so it is fixed see now uh this stimulations once you click this stimulations so the same kind of things you will get it over here also you see the configure stimulations options also came okay so under this also whatever i fix the data so same thing it is showing here you see the five minutes it is also fixed so now here so many other parameters you can give for the considerations okay like water depth surface you can include okay so you see here uh, if you have a digital surface model or something okay which you can consider uh, amount of the depth uh, you can able to calculate okay so like where the water level is more so accordingly you can give so if you have the water depth like uh, digital surface model of this particular area you can do that as an input now here the infiltration rates like suppose i uh, there is a lot of different uh, types of surface will be there i will consider this is the urban area so the surface will be the impervious okay impervious surface zero so maximum infiltration rate also it will going to be very less okay infiltration rates per unit and that is also i consider as a zero okay so now if it is a contain the area within this much interest so then it will going to show you in that much area the area only okay uh, okay so this is what you need to fix for your particular analysis okay and now once you did that you just simply click on apply so once you apply it is uh, the stimulations will be ready over here okay so if you see uh, in this uh, stimulation button there is one options called run so if you click the run then uh, the model will start running so let's see this okay so if i click over this run and you see slowly slowly see water will going to increase on this particular area the amount is see it is a, it will going to run up to the five minutes okay and it will going to show you uh, that particular area how the water is actually going to store see here okay so how much area it is actually going to affected by the flood so all the things uh it is actually showing in, in a very fast way okay so this kind of stimulations is actually very helpful because here we have a lot of different parameters to uh for giving a different aspects okay so obviously there is a there is a model like hexar is there so that is a totally different use that is more uh useful for this kind of analysis but obviously for a small kind of surface okay if you want to see how the water is actually going to stand in a particular over your area okay so how water can move from that area so those kind of things you can give as is considerations okay so one thing is like this stimulation model it is considering the world view elevation dam from this okay so in that case if you have that suppose the drone and you can fly over your area and you create a um uh, suppose a, a digital elevation surface model of this particular area is suppose 25 centimeter okay and uh, over that you can run this kind of stimulation model so definitely it will be a very good a kind of analysis which we can you can take it as a considerations for um uh, the modeling okay but yes with that uh you should know about the surface information so the rainfall information as well as uh, the the, uh, the, the, there is other parameters which is also affecting for the flood so we need to uh, give a consideration of that okay but uh, in general this is a good way of doing the study okay so this is the <clears throat> the same thing i just created over here okay if you see here there's some other area of the delhi okay and if you want to change uh, this base map so during 
after finishing this you can change it in any base map so over the base maps also you can get an understanding and the locations where where there is water is actually stuck okay so the location name also i can get very easily okay so this is the way we can do the study over a certain locations okay like water how the water is actually stuck so that's all from my side so i hope this video will be useful for everyone so i will request everyone please uh, uh, share this video with others okay and uh, uh, please give your comments okay i see many people are actually watching my videos but uh, they are not subscribing the channel so i am just requesting everyone please subscribe the channels also so it will motivate me a lot to work more like this like uh, in coming days we will come with so many other uh, uh, advanced analysis like solar radiations and all so very soon we will come with all those lectures okay so if you have uh, required any lectures uh, please let us know okay so thank you thank you all thank you very much